Christian, after a very stop-start few years in the international calendar, and obviously plenty on your plate with St Helens, how nice is it to be sat down now talking and thinking about taking Tonga into a World Cup? Oh, look, it's great. It's exciting. Um, I was only saying before that it's been a whirlwind couple of weeks coming off a grand final and all the celebrations that come there and presentation nights and, and then rolling into camp in London on Saturday. And I just remember seeing the faces and, and blokes that I've been very close to for a number of years and uh, haven't seen for three years. And uh, seeing the faces come in, the familiar faces, the new faces, the fresh faces, and then getting on the bus and uh, you know, having the blokes on the bus again and the laughter, the songs, uh, just it reminded me how much I've missed it and uh, it's great to be back in camp. And uh, it, it must have been a very exciting feeling when you looked at the, the list of names available and the talent available to pick for this Tonga team. The, the most competitive World Cup we've ever had and you're sort of right in the mix. Yeah, definitely. And I think it's uh, the most talented team that we've been able to put together and certainly the most experienced in terms of NRL appearances and, and we've got a number of guys in the Super League as well. And yeah, we're, very, uh, we're very confident in what we're capable of. We know that if we play to our potential, we're very hard to beat. We know that we've got the talent and the strike across the field to you know, really uh, cause some teams some dramas. And you know, what we've now got to do is do the hard work to reach that potential. And if we do that, then we're going to go well. Uh, you've put your base in St Helens, obviously familiar territory for you. How important was that that you had that kind of uh, familiar surroundings and you, you can impart that experience and that knowledge of the area and what you do into your team? Oh, it's great for us. It, it just means that you know, we know everything that we're going to. We know where things are. We know what the facilities are. Um, you know, there's no, no sort of hiccups along the way. And uh, you know, Liverpool, we're, we're staying in Liverpool. It's a great city and, and plenty to do for the players as well. So um, yeah, there's a lot of things that really marry up there. And I've said plenty of times that I think our fan base of St Helens really marry up well with the, with the Tongan players and the Tongan uh, people as well. And you know, both working class, both hard working. We've got a number of Tongan players uh, who are from St Helens or play for St Helens now that I know the St Helens fans love and I'm really looking forward to taking the players back home and uh, and seeing those fans turn up and support Tonga. A, a totally a wicked stadium, a scene of some pretty special memories for you over the years and you must be really looking forward to making another one at your opening game. Yeah I am, I can't wait to get back there and as I said before it feels like home and um, you know, it'd be great to, to get back in front of the fans that um, you know the I've said before, I can't thank enough, and you grow very close to and, and see those faces again, and uh, you have some really familiar people in the in the scenes as well. So uh, I said before, it fits in a lot of ways. St Helens is red and white; we're red and white. It just feels like it fits. I, there's such a strange kind of extra dynamics of this World Cup in that you've all done a few years of like COVID coaching and Zoom meetings, a team meeting, that kind of thing. How nice is it to have your group all in one place and actually be able to just point at things and say, do this or don't do this? Yeah, it is. And like I said at the start, it's exciting. It's something I've missed. Uh, something that's been a big part of my career over the last sort of eight, nine years and uh, uh, you know, something I've been really keen to get back into. So uh, you know, we've just got an exciting group. We've got a great group. They're a great group of men that are really proud to represent Tonga. They represent the country really well in terms of how they carry themselves, how they play. And you know, when you put all that together, it's exciting to be a part of and it's a privilege to be a part of. And uh, uh, just indulge me whilst I look further down the line, you'll hate this question. But if you look at your side of the draw, it could be, could be an England game in a semi-final against the home nation. It could be a, a game against Samoa, which would be a, a remarkable occasion. How uh, satisfied are the mentally your team are, are in the right place to take those challenges off? Yeah, look, we know there's some big occasions ahead, but they're a long way away. And our number one priority right now is PNG, and, and that's going to be a big occasion. That's going to be a tough game. They've come here to try and win, and uh, you know we need to make sure that we've got the same hunger as them. So that's what our focus is. And if we can get through that, then we've got two other games, and, and we know what sort of uh, you know, lure is there for the big games. And that's what we want to be a part of. And like I said before, we've got to make sure that we're willing to do the hard work. And if we if we are, then there's a lot of reward there too. Can you win the World Cup? Yeah, we can. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Awesome.